welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we are going to look at some very rare quarters that you should always be on the lookout for in your pocket change or when you're searching through coin rolls from the bank, any of that. And don't forget, guys, enter the giveaway through the giveaway link in the description of the video. All the information is in the description of each video. So let's just hop into it and check out these rare quarters that are worth money. All right, so first up is a 1965 Washington quarter that has has a flip over and collar it's been double struck you can see that there on the quarter both on the obverse and the reverse of this quarter and that will give the quarter value I mean these are very simple things to look for in your pocket change I mean they're always going to be the size of a quarter so a lot of people don't really search through their pocket change but for all of us coin collectors out there and people that want to find valuable coins these are simple things to look for double struck flip over and collar this quarter here sold for over $470 next up is a 1960 66 Washington quarter that has a double die reverse now this is a lower graded quarter so it's not like a mint state coin or anything like that but it has a double die reverse so it's still gonna give it a lot of value so make sure you guys get a cheap little coin USB microscope that way you can zoom into your coins and see if they have any doubling because this quarter here is sold for over $900 next up is the same exact error a double die reverse so doubling taking place on the back of the coin however this is on a 19 1968 Denver minted quarter and again it doesn't have the highest grade it's at an AU 58 about uncirculated 58 and this quarter sold for over $1,000 Next up is a 1970 Denver minted Washington quarter. Now this actually has doubling taking place on the obverse. So DDO double die obverse, meaning that there's doubling taking place on the front of the quarter. And this quarter sold for over $1,200. Now for these next two coins, they're the same year, same error, double die reverse, doubling on the back of the coin. However, this is a lower graded coin. So this quarter here sold for over $1,300. And then here is a 1971 higher graded double die reverse and it sold for over $8,800. So that grading is really important when determining the values of your coins. So always keep that in mind when I'm showing you these coins in these videos. Now this next up is a very, very cool coin. This is a 1973 Denver minted Washington quarter. It's 50% off center and it's got a full brockage. So we can see that there in the images displayed and this quarter here sold for over $690. Almost $700 quarter there. Moving on to a 1976 Denver minted bicentennial Washington quarter. Now this has doubling taking place on the obverse. So DDO again here, double die obverse, doubling on the front of the coin. And this quarter sold for over $400. Next up is an interesting error. Most likely probably not going to find something like this in your pocket change or in a coin roll because I would imagine someone would probably get it out right when the they found something like this. But this is a 1981 cap die Washington quarter and this quarter here sold for over $630. Next up is a proof coin. So if you're not familiar with proof coins, I've done a whole video on those coins, so be sure to check it out. Now this coin is perfect. I mean, it's at the top of the scale. Can't get a higher grade than this. This is a 1990S. And what makes this really special is that it has a double die obverse. So there's doubling taking place on the front of the quarter. Now, this quarter here sold for over $7,000. Moving on to a state quarter, not sure if I covered this in my state quarters videos or not, but this is a pretty simple area to look for. Always just to remind you guys of something really simple that you could always be on the look for in your pocket change. This is a coin that has been triple struck, a 1999 quarter, the Connecticut state quarter of course, and this quarter here sold for over $575. So imagine finding something like this, a quarter and you sold for over $500. That is a very nice profit. Here's another state quarter, a 2005 Kansas state quarter. And I have covered this type of error in the past. It's the missing clad layer. And this one doesn't have a really high grade or anything. The missing clad layer is what you see there on the back of the coin. You can only see the inner copper core of it and not the actual clad layer like on the front of the quarter. And this quarter here sold for over $500. Hey guys, don't forget to go check out all my 
my other coin and collectible videos. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.